What's up, everybody? I'm in the middle of Rockefeller Center here in Midtown Manhattan, across the street from the Radio City Music Hall. And I'm going to take a walk all the way to Hell's Kitchen, passing through Times Square, as well as Restaurant Row. I also want to visit the new Urban Hawker Singapore Food Court that recently opened last month. I recorded this video on Tuesday, October 18th, 2022. It's about 5.30 p.m., so we're right in the middle of rush hour. It's 55 Fahrenheit, 13 Celsius. Let's take a walk down this block on 50th Street from 6th Avenue. The Urban Hawker Food Court is right in the middle of this block. It was actually the late Anthony Bourdain's dream to have a Singapore-style hawker market here in Midtown Manhattan. And that dream is now reality. From what I was reading, I think it was one of his partners that made this happen. And I've never been to this place before, so you're gonna be seeing it for the first time with me. But I guess we're gonna be uh, making this walk like a restaurant slash foodie themed uh, experience. Since we're gonna be hitting up Restaurant Row afterwards and Hell's Kitchen. Not too many people know about this place yet. It's a little bit tricky to find because it's on the middle of a side street and not on the corner, but here it is, the Urban Hawker Singapore Food Court. They don't just have Singaporean food either. That's a sweet deal. 20% off every Monday if you use Apple Pay. I guess Mondays is gonna be really busy here. And here are the different vendors inside. But this is not necessary because we're gonna go in and look at them right now. Wow. You know this place is good when they start the food court off with a giant mural. Traditional coffee, boba tea and toast here. Doesn't look like anyone's manning the counter right now. Yep, they're closed for the day. Ashes, burn it. Hamburgers and sandwiches. Considering where this place is, the prices are quite reasonable. Burgers from the little Red Dot Island. I guess we'll show both sides of this food court. Hainan Jones, Singapore Hainanese chicken rice. Looks like they serve it with a bunch of other sides as well. They include a soup as well as cucumbers, uh, some sauce and some vegetables. This actually originated in the island of Hainan in China, but 
many other countries adopted their version of cooking the chicken with rice food. And here it is. Sure looks good. $18 for a prawn ramen. And they've gotten written up in a bunch of different publications as well. Prawnaholics Prawn Me will bring you to your knees. Passion that lies within the walk. Chef Allen. And they are very busy cooking up a storm in there. White restaurant, looks like they have different types of food here. Rice noodles, organic vegetables, sliced fish. Singapore style fried rice. That's their signature dish, the Singapore style. I'm actually very excited to try this food board out. I don't have uh, the stomach for it right now, but New York City is certainly a city for culinary tourism. And now that this urban hawker market is here, I'm really excited. Also restrooms downstairs. I know that's pretty important for this area. It's hard to get restrooms around here. Mak Mak's Singapore Indian Cuisine. Wok fried biryani. Singapore favorites. Indian style saffron basmati rice. It's actually very hard for me to walk through this hawker market without getting anything to eat. This is all halal. Yum Yu Wu. There's different combo sets that you can get. It's marinated tofu skin stuffed with sushi rice. Different protein and the sauce on top. And this is an example of what you get here. Hello. Love this mural in the back. And they have a bar, the swing bar. Happy hours are from 4 to 5 p.m. and from 8 to 9 p.m. Daisy's Dream, New York. Nyonya Laksa, Nyonya Nasi Lemak. They have a bunch of different coconut curries. That's what they're known for here. And they have a bunch of testimonials already on the board there. Number one top Peranakan restaurant in Singapore 2020. Walk in Staple by Dragon Phoenix. Here's Smokin' Joe. They have Hainanese fish and chips, grilled chicken, chicken cutlet. Hey, what's up? Welcome, welcome. 
British colonial era in Singapore brought more than fish and chips and afternoon tea culture. Ooh. Curry sauce, unforgettable. I can tell, wow. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. And here's Filipino comfort food. Tradition. Pork adobo, tinapo mackerel, crispy pata. And once again, I'm actually surprised at the prices of the dishes here that you can get in the hawker market. They're quite reasonable considering you're right in midtown Manhattan. I thought easily these dishes would all be over 20 bucks, but I see a lot 18 and under. Jakarta Munch, this is not open yet. We'll be serving you soon. Dim Sum Darling, also not open yet. And if you want desserts, you got them at Lady Wong. Actually, these are really great prices for the savory stuff. Chicken puff for uh, $4.75. If you want something under five bucks, you got it here. Little tiny cake like that is eight bucks. Pandan matcha tart for $8.50. I don't know if it was a good idea to start my video off here first because I'm gonna get super hungry. All right, let's make our way over to Times Square. Over to the famous Red, red Steps. And then we'll cross over 46th Street to Restaurant Row. Times Square down that way. Like, Crush was great. 
to like. We're trying to sell them. Yeah. They should be selling us. Noticing people have been driving a little bit more aggressively, and also pedestrians being sometimes unaware of where they are on the road. I really wish people would really take into consideration their safety before making any decisions. This TSX building is well on the way to being finished. ATS booth is seeing a lot of lineups right now for discounted Broadway tickets. Never used to be like this. I'm actually not gonna go up to the top of the steps because someone's playing some music. I might get in trouble with YouTube for that. So I'm gonna stay over here.
even after coming to Times Square so many times, I'm still impressed by all this, all these electronic billboards and just the energy that the square brings. This is 46th Street. I'm going to make my way west. And we'll head straight to Restaurant Row, which isn't too far away from here. Even though Restaurant Row really only refers to the block of 46th Street between 8th and 9th Avenues, on 9th Avenue and 10th Avenue in Hell's Kitchen, you can find a lot more places to eat. Hello, we've got the Richard Rogers Theater across the street, home of the popular Hamilton show. Hamilton Merchandise Store. We have reached the beginning of Restaurant Row. Glad I was able to cross the street so I can make this light here. Here's 8th Avenue. 
extremely busy street to get to the Port Authority bus terminal as well as Penn Station. Restaurant Row will get especially busy when the Broadway shows get let out. It's actually been a while since I've been to Restaurant Row. I know they were really struggling during 2021 and also 2020. Barlato restaurant is for rents and Q Ramen is not open as well as the tea bar upstairs. Here's where you can get at Frankie and Johnny's Steakhouse. Joe Allen since 1965. Actually looks quite busy in there. Osteria Sicilian restaurant. And the prices here are quite reasonable as well. If you want Chinese food, they've got it at Dim Sum Palace. They have a huge menu. I like that they have these pictures here for all the different Dim Sum items. Comedy Lounge right next door, the LOL Comedy Lounge. Larry Vodge, French restaurant. I don't think this restaurant is open. Yeah, this looks like it hasn't been open for many months. Even over here, don't know what happened with this. This restaurant's for lease too. Cantina and kitchen. Tito Murphy's. What's up? Bardo Pizza. And then over here, we have a Japanese izakaya and bar, Hino Hino. Swing 46 Jazz Club and Supper Club across the streets 46 after the name of the streets 46th street
all these restaurants smell quite good. Japanese ramen restaurant. Hold fast. Bear burger. And here's 4 4 South Village Taipei beef noodles. This is brand new because they have the uh, grand opening flags still up. And that was Restaurant Row. If you're visiting the city and staying in the Midtown area, give Restaurant Row a visit. They've got some great food there. And here's 9th Avenue. We'll walk 9th Avenue South towards the Port Authority bus terminal. Wow, look at this store. The Forbidden Cannabis. They even uh, decorated the store in all different colors and balloons. They sure decorated this ramen restaurant for Halloween. Five napkin burger. place is busy. Niza Trattoria restaurant. Marseille. French restaurant. Quite a busy intersection. Here's the Westway Diner. 
You don't really see too many diners anymore. Definitely an extensive menu at this diner. And I love the decorations that they put up for Halloween. What the fuck? Here's Tim Ho Wan, the dim sum <laughs> Chinese food chain. Grind, oh, Grind, New York City coffee shop. She works from that? Yo, what the? Yo, that's her? everyone I've reached 42nd streets and I'm going to wrap up my video here of Midtown Manhattan from Rockefeller Center to Hell's Kitchen hope you enjoy this walking video I'm sure I'm enlightened of a lot of new spots that have opened up especially the urban hawker hit the like button if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already to the channel and I will see you next time. Later, everyone. Take care.